Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim and Assalamu Alaikum. My name is Sadia Mir Ahmed and I have recently completed an MS degree from Allama Iqbal Open University Islamabad in Management Sciences under the kind supervision of Sir Adnan Riaz. Today I'm going to share with you my experience of research at the university. The topic of my thesis was examining equivocal relationship between stress and outcomes. Do spiritual leaders help? I have chosen working women from Rawalpindi and Islamabad as a population of the study. The notion of working women in our culture is not an easy and plain phenomena to understand. Combining family and work in our culture requires a unique set of skills, unlike Western culture where women have a lot of support and assistance from their governments, not only at their domestic level but as well as at their workplaces. Regarding the model of the study, after conducting a thorough analysis of the more, uh, variables of the concern, uh, job stress was taken as a predictor variable, while uh, creativity, task performance, and organization citizenship behavior were taken as a criterion variables of the study. The correlation values of the variables showed inconsistent results. They showed different results under different settings and in different cultures. So it's suggested that the relation between stress and outcomes is moderated by some promising variable and the review of the literature showed that employees' perception of leadership styles have a very strong impact on their stress level. Women experiencing different leadership styles show different level of stress and their work behavior might be different. The literature also depicted that spiritual leadership is considered to be a more value-oriented leadership style among the other leadership styles. The drive of the spiritual leadership theory is to motivate the leaders and the cohorts intrinsically for their own spiritual needs and welfare. The spiritual leadership theory is based on the intrinsic motivation model, which incorporates hope, altruistic love, theories of spiritual leadership at work, and spiritual well-being. The whole essence of the theory is to motivate employees in order to create work for the organization. As far as the methodology of the research is concerned, I followed Saunders et al. Research Union, which is quite a comprehensive research methodology. It follows philosophy of positivism, and the purpose of the study was to test the relationship. The assumptions were epistemological in nature, and uh, a deductive research approach was used as the hypotheses were based on the already existing theories. Regarding data collection, we used survey design to develop questionnaires from measures that were adopted from different sources, and the questionnaires were also created on Google Forms, which really gave me a chance to uh, collect, to sort, and to analyze data in a systematic manner. We distributed 532 questionnaires, depending on the number of the items in the scale. Out of these 532 responses, 424 were deemed usable for further analysis. The analysis included confirmatory factor analysis, discriminant validity, convergent validity, correlation, and the moderation analysis. In addition, the assumptions of the regression analysis were also satisfied to further validate the data. The analysis of the data revealed that there exists a strong negative correlation between um, stress and the outcomes. If the stress level was high, creativity, task performance, and OCB of the employees were low. Moreover, uh, moderation analysis were also carried out and uh, it proved that um, the spiritual leadership is a strong and significant uh, moderator of the study. So it explains the need and purpose of the spiritual leadership in the organizations to mitigate the effect of job stress on the performance of the working women, who are definitely in need of continuous support and assistance from their supervisors to perform well under uh, stressful conditions. So to conclude, we can say that spiritual leadership needs to be incorporated in the organization in their daily management activities. It's not an easy task. It definitely requires a lot of reforms in policies and procedures, not only on the organizational level, but also on the national level. And I think it must have to be coupled with practical implementation of the policies, along with the continuous monitoring of the issues. That brings us to an end. Thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate your time and interest, and I hope the video might be of some help if you are going to pursue a research-oriented degree.
थैंक्स वंस अगैन एंड असल